So yeah, switching gears from Studio Ghibli, I am brought to Studio Trigger, uh, because today I am reviewing the movie called Promare. It is a Studio Trigger film, and yeah, folks, it is just me pulling out animated move. This is just me pull. I'm just pulling out a. Uh, I'm pulling out animated uh, Japanese movies out of my collection, and I'm reviewing them and making content, folks. So, yeah. We got Promare. We got a studio, a studio trigger film. And, yeah, we got cool 80s animations. 80s animations times 10. For a full 800. And we got people randomly combusting all over the world. We got purple fire. We got fire everywhere all around the world. And we got some cool intro music. We got some really good animations. And yeah, we got a we got an organization, uh, firefighters called Burning Rescue, and we got automated water jets, firefighters with mech suits that are uh, fired out of a fire truck, <laughs> and we got ice cube launchers, and yeah, the animations of this of this movie. And yeah, the, we got a guy who voices Josuke Higashigata as the main protagonist. We got this. We got that same voice actor. You're surprised. I I know who the I, I know who that character is. Uh, it, yeah, I have. I have. Uh, JoJo's, I have up to, di up to, di I have, for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I have all the way up to Diamond is Unbreaking, Part 2. I also have Golden Wind, Part 2. I'm missing Golden Wind, Part 1. I got them on Blu-ray, folks. And at some point, at some point, I shall, I shall review I shall go back and I shall re I, I will review JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Folks. And yeah. And yeah, the, the, the guy is fighting the people called the Mad Burndish. And yeah, the bad guys are like are like, uh, is this guy an idiot? And the lead burnish guy, uh, fights the, fights the guy. We got an ice and fire sword fight. The guy gets backed into a corner, then, uh, the, the team shows up. And, yeah, we got guns that shoot ice handcuffs. <laughs> And then we have Freeze Force comes in, and they're thugs. And we got jurisdiction issues. And we got Ice Alcatraz. And we got terrorists and, the, and, and civilians. They're all arrested together. There are people, and yeah, in that group, there are people who aren't doing too good. The The governor gives the, the main guy, Gallo, an award. They celebrate by eating pizza. The governor saved Gallo before, and we got an older sister who is a scientist. Freeze Force arrives and arrests the guy who's making pizza, and uh, the, and the Freeze Force, they're all thugs. The dude drives off on a mo Gallo, he drives off on a motorcycle. And the fire gu bad guy breaks everyone out of jail from Ice Alcatraz. G 
Gallo goes to a frozen lake and the girl with pink hair comes along with him. They have a moment on the frozen lake and they see a they see a burnish guy flying through the air. Gallo goes to see the burnish guy. And yeah, Gallo was insensitive. Gallo offers to help a, a woman. The terrorist guy tries to kiss life back into into the girl that was uh, dying, but she still turns into ashes. We find out that the fire is alive. The bad guy, Leo Fotia, gives Gallo the lowdown about stuff. Uh, and they go to the tower, and Gallo returns the medal and uh, confronts the governor. We have a huge ass office. And uh, yeah, we find out the magma is out of control as the guy gives Gallo the lowdown. We got a massive space arc to save humanity that's p powered by the Burnished, and it's a portal generator. Which, yeah, they can go to another world, so, uh, why, why aren't they going to Mars? They're just going to another system and whatnot. And, yeah, the, the governor is really an angry guy. Gallo, Gallo is sad, freeze force cracks down on the burnish, people get ice cubed. Leo Fodia arrives and the old man betrayed them. But the old man gets betrayed. They launch the the other guys. They launch their boss into a volcano, and the magma is purple. And yeah, the burnished get plugged into the machine. Gallo is missing, accused of being a terrorist. Pink-haired girl gives Gallo some food. Uh, da, 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 da. The, fire, the, the fire reaches Leo Fodia, and the volcano blows up, and he goes on a rampage. Gallo takes the opportunity to escape. Leo attacks the tower. The governor was going to... Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, the, the governor was going to use his power... Gallo confronts Leo Fodia. They go to the lake and find a hidden facility and they get a lowdown from an, an AI. <laughs> and yeah, apparently the governor betrayed a dude who the AI is based off of. The city transforms into a spaceship. Pink hair girl realizes her sister isn't aboard the spaceship. Launching the ship will apparently kill the Earth. But if they don't launch the ship, like the Earth is dead in six months. So yeah. And yeah, the Promare are the cause of everything. Uh, the soup, they're, they're in a super suit named Deus Ex Machina. Gallo and Leo have to team up. The engine activates, opening the portal. Gallo isn't in the zone till the burnish armor appears on the mech suit. Uh, da, da, da. And the footage get of the betrayal gets shown. We've got a great soundtrack. The, the governor dons his own armor and he has a gun that turns buildings into dirt. We got an epic mech fight. Fire Dragon versus an Ice Wall. Gala gets fired up, and uh, when he fights with a staff, the engine overloads and turns off. They get their mechs frozen. The, the governor is a burnish all along. The governor reveals it all to the Gallo, and he wanted Gallo dead. Pink haired scientist saved by her sister. The engine gets restarted. Freeze Force guys show up. They launch Gala with a drill. Fire shoots out of the earth. The governor shows up, and I guess that Gala is protected by Leo's fire. 
Leo gets uh, regenerated by the fire given to Gallo, that he gave to Gallo. Leo and Gallo go into the the pod, and they're both half naked, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, this movie was great. Blue fire ignites the whole earth and they become a giant mech. Uh, the blast, the fire blast, the whole st whole system. The Promare go back to their dimension. A new day dawns. And we got this quote. I'm the universe's number one firefighting idiot from Callow. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, yeah, this movie. Uh, my descript, what I just described to you doesn't do this movie justice. It is an experience, like all studio trigger properties, it is an experience. You, uh, this movie was fun, you got like a, they're sort of referencing their own source juice, characters reminded me of other Studio Trigger stuff, I was reminded of Gurren Lagann, and yeah, this, mo this movie was good, I, I recommend, I recommend you go see it, buy it legitimately, go, go do it. If you sail the high seas, if you, if you sail, if you sail the high seas, make sure when you get the money, uh, you go buy a physical copy of this movie. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, when the SJWs. When they're done with Hollywood, they're gonna go for Japan, folks. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna go. They're gonna try and influence. They're gonna try to infiltrate, infiltrate Japan. They'll go. They're gonna go overseas. They're gonna try to do that. Spread their ideology. So pick up some physical copies of shit before shit gets altered, or before they have, or before they put warning labels on it. Like, yeah. So yeah, I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. This movie's great. Go watch it. I, I give it a wa. I give it a recommend. Not much else to say, so I'll say my ending tagline. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay frosty. Stay sexy, San Diego. Get your jewels in one where you can. I am a spaceman. Invest in GameStop. Support Gina. Peace out, folks.